past. And instead of letting the past be the weakness, let me just give you some steps, some things to do to help you grow through your past so that you can grow in your faith and actually get stronger instead of getting weaker and defeat the enemy instead of the enemy defeating you. Number one is recognize and repent of negative feelings and negative responses viewed through the past. Recognize and repent of negative feelings and negative responses that are viewed for the past. For example, forgive. Now, forgiving doesn't, I can't tell you how many times somebody sat in my office and said, well, I can forgive them, but I'm sure not going to forget. Can I just, I want to I give, give you something I think tonight that will release you, okay? You're not supposed to forget. God's not going to ask us to do things that it doesn't take faith to do. It takes faith to forgive somebody. And, and when I'm having my worst times and, and I have one of those deals where the, the anxiety comes through or the depression just comes straight through my heart or, or, or all of a sudden I go from having a really good day to, to, to it just seems like it's completely turned around or, or something comes to mind. And, and, and what I've learned to do is stop and realize that the pain is there and repent of it. And what that means of, instead of going toward the pain and gnawing on the pain, is that I, I turn toward God and, and refocus. And here's something that will blow you away. If I, if I can make myself thank God for the pain, it is so powerful. But we don't do that. Depressed people think depressing thoughts. Anxious people think anxious thoughts. And we spiral down. But we've got to learn to realize that it's there. Recognize it. And repent. Hey, when that negative feeling comes up, take hold of it and do something with it right then. And, and you can learn to do that all day long. There's a, there's a book I want to recommend. It's called Search for Significance by Robert McGee. Search for Significance by Robert McGee. I built my whole counseling practice off the Bible in that book. And, and one of the things that he does in there is he teaches people to do a trip in. And, and it's where you, you take hold of it. What, what happens is, is when we're having negative thoughts, we can look at something and we can think of it negatively. But what we've got to learn to do is we've got to learn to recognize when those negative feelings come and take those things and turn them around. So, so we can literally stop and, and recognize that I'm feeling this way about it and change the way I'm feeling about it. You know, I got a quick fuse. I get angry fast. And when I do that with my family or when I do that with my wife or, and I do that with somebody, it, it, it comes and it, it comes just like that and all of a sudden I say something or, or look a certain way or be cold or do whatever you do when you're angry and, 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 and I can walk away and, and all of a sudden I'll start realizing as the anger subsides what I did. And, and the amazing thing is, is I can start thinking about it different and all of a sudden change the way I feel. And what I've done over the years is I've gotten better at when the anger comes, doing that quicker. But most of us, what we do is we, we take that anger and we spiral and spiral and spiral. And then later on, we're so remorseful that we just come back all beat up. But learn to recognize it. Look what Psalm, the psalmist says in Psalm 32, 3. He says, when I refuse to confess my sin, my body what? He's talking about stress there. My body wasted away. I died quicker than I'm dying already. And I groaned all day long when I held on to that sin. When I held on to not forgiving. When I held on to anger. When I hang on to depression. When I hang on to anxiety. When I, when I hang on to that thing that I'm worrying about. What happens is, is I just die and I die and I die. Look at Job 5.2 says, Surely resentment destroys the fool. And jealousy kills the simple. And as you look through Proverbs, you realize that, that God often uses the word fool and simple for the person who turns away from God and, and doesn't have, he uses wisdom for somebody who's close to God. So we've got to recognize and repent of those feelings and realize where they come from, from the past. And, and, and if you'll just... I can't tell you how many times I've had somebody sit in my office and go, you know, I just can't forget. And I go, oh, good. 
Don't forget. Just think about it different. Think about it from a different way. 